How many times did I tell you, Frank? You're not God. I am. I have to play a mad scientist in the movie, so it's always helpful to have one around. <laughs> That's what Paul is to me. He has a very, very strong personality. Let me see the beginning again. He is unbelievable. He knows exactly what he wants. Bum, 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 and then bum. Something like that. Let me see that again. The thing about Paul is he's a passionate person. Yeah. He, he reminds me of a kid with autism who keeps hitting his head. Paul is very intense. You know that when you're working on a Paul Verhoeven film, nothing is going to be mundane. It's all going to push the boundaries. It's not that I feel that it should cannot be done in a different way or look at art or film, in this case, in a different way. But it comes to me in a natural way, and I'd always do that. There's a lot of rumor with Paul. Oh, Paul is a very... Very difficult director. Oh, you have to be very careful with Paul, working with Paul. Ooh, that's a challenge. He's a monster. He's a monster! I think it comes from the intensity of Paul. So he doesn't think about what should I do or what do people expect from me. He just rushes into everything. But at the same time, he's the most collaborative person I've ever worked with. He literally demands your input. If I don't have something to offer him, why am I there? Yeah, I'll ask him to do this. Let's do another one. He's very involved in the whole process of filmmaking. He, he's very much a hands-on director. <laughs> if he needs somebody to pick up a prop or to do something within the action of the scene, he wants to make sure that it looks correct on film. Wait a couple of seconds and then slide it in. He's really specific. I mean, he's really technical. And, and he and, and Joost Vacano, the, the director of photography, work, you know, very in sync together. I met Paul almost 25 years ago in Holland. When two people know each other so well as, as we do, then there's a lot of things we, haven't, we don't have to talk about anymore. Very often, we just look at each other. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, fine. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> That's it. The director and the cinematographer, they don't have to speak with words so much because they are speaking uh, with, with, with images and you don't have to be so precise with words. Just wipe through. Yeah, wrong, wrong. So that was never, never ever a problem. He's just, he's just got so much energy. It's a little bit more of a push of the body. I mean, you can open it here, you go, go through. You can get a little bit more than this, yeah? More like Nuriev, but I mean, it's more of a ballet dance and you have to do your own personal interpretation of it. With regard to the actors, I think he's very kind on actors. I think he's uh, wonderful with actors. He cajoles them into a performance. Yeah, I think it helps. When he directs and he tries to let us know what's going on, and because we're wor again, we're working with you know nothing. And the ape is really highly agitated. I would say in the beginning, I'll give you a thing like, ah, yeah, and then you do a little bit like this, and then I'll say, ah, yeah. and when you see that he's that into it. It's, it's real. We're here, we've come to play. He just he inspires your performance. Not even knowing that he's doing it, he always try to express himself in the way that he is almost acting. And whenever he talks to the actors, he's already acting something. And sometimes that's a problem because the actors are not used to that. And the actors feel, okay, it's our job to act. He should tell me what to do, but he shouldn't stay in front of me and, 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 and start acting because I, that I have to feel what I'm doing. And uh, action! <laughs> the hit was okay uh, this time. Good. Thanks. Good. Good. Just do it like this. Don't Obviously, he does push the boundaries in terms of what his attitude towards violence is. Paul thinks, and I think he's, he's right in a certain way, that the dark characters are much more interesting. He's much more for the dark underground to see what's beneath the surface. Maybe I scared her a little. Yeah. How'd that feel? 
I liked it. The dark side of human nature is something that Paul is cognizant of. He's very, very thoughtful, and he's always aware of subtext and uh, really thinks about that when, when he approaches a project. And what are the hidden meanings? He is very much interested in something outstanding, outrageous characters in life. Quiet! You are a fucking bitch. I try to take these elements out of life that I have detested or admired and put them in, in, in a movie, be it violence or sex. <laughs> Certainly in terms of sexuality, he pushes the boundaries. Given the chance, Paul is very extreme. I think there's no why. It's more like, that's the man I am. And, that's the, and it comes from the inside. It's something that I just do.